Hello, today is Thursday, May 20th. I'm Tracy Anderson, and let's talk about some markets. So many moving parts to discuss today, so let's go. Okay, I'm going to start this week talking about grains, specifically corn and soy. Both still tight in inventory, historically expensive. However, corn moved lower from last week's 7.55 to today, today's close with 7.02. Still twice as high as I'd like to see, but we'll take this move lower. We still have several months to get to new crops, so let's hope we see continued moderation. Just to keep things interesting, when gas is over $3 a gallon, biofuels start making more economic sense. Looking at soy, and I'm seeing some short-term lower pricing. Nothing dramatic, but down is better than up. I think this round of price increases we've just absorbed may be a, at a pause, though manufacturers are telling me this tight market will be with us into fall, and we may see another round of price increases shortly. I'm going to take a deep breath here and deal with the new reality first. My advice is the same. Buy what you need. Treat it right. Clean, filter, repeat. Get the most to fry life out of it you can. Now let's look at beef. I'm more sure now than I was last week. We will see this market move lower once we get past Memorial Day. I think the big question, will it be a big reduction or just a steady little movement lower? As the summer warms up, beef consumption will reduce, so demand should lighten up. Production numbers are still disappointing with 640,000 head harvested last week versus 639 the week before. This is just not strong enough to meet current demand. If demand declines and we get increased production, we could see some pretty strong declines. Otherwise, I think we'll see modest declines, but this market is about done for this cycle. At least I'm telling myself that. But we've got to get to June. Pork, on the other hand, is a hot ticket still. Another week, declining production numbers, down a bit less than 1% from the previous week. Less product in the market. Spare ribs are crazy high. Summer is usually a high time for ribs, and this summer will not disappoint. Butts are also very high and not very plentiful. Should I mention boneless pork loin? Bellies are steady for a second week at 164. I still think we'll see $200 bellies come July. Looking at chicken, and yay, Burger King announced they're joining the chicken sandwich wars. Lovely. Okay. okay, breast continue to move up, wings continue to be higher still, and now tenders are getting tight as folks are looking for alternatives to wings and breasts. Egg sets are up only modestly again this week, so not a quick fix in sight. Let's hope the chicken sandwich war ends soon. And finally, another active market looking at is the dairy traded on CME. Through Thursday, barrel is down 9, block is down 14, and butter is up 1. Again, there's plenty of milk available, even with the strong demand. I think we may have a few weeks to enjoy the declining market. So with soy and corn finally not rocketing up, beef poised to move lower, and dairy already moving down, let's call it a good week. Thanks for listening, and let's do it again next week.